you know the bitcoin and dubai and okay now this nonsense okay dubai came out with its museum of the future okay everyone was oh the leadership oh this great fine i put out a video and i told you credit should be given where credit is due it's a beautiful building it's an architectural marvel it looks nice fine okay so all that is good but now here's my question to you how has your your life improved your life has improved simple question right has your life improved your the quality of your life has it improved no right has your salary improved no right has your job position improved no right then why you hey, hey the building why <laughs> it's a tourist attraction it's a nice building you'll go visit it once take a couple of photographs videos share it on social media have a nice memory finish that's it in fact uh, here's my bigger question to you how many projects are there in ue for which contractors have not been paid simple question you'll say oh law you're a hater alas simple question i'm asking now how many projects has ue completed even incompleted where they have paid the contractors how many contractors do you personally know i know i'm telling you i know contractors i know suppliers who have not been paid okay you can build an amazing building you know it's it's like in my group where we were just chatting i said uh, you know this this building this museum of the future kind of reminds me like when an emirati gets a four wheel drive he gets a latest range rover or latest uh, land cruiser you know this big ass vehicles very powerful vehicles they get and he's like wow he has got the latest vehicle purchased it he looks rich he'll wear a kandura he'll come out of the car he looks amazing yeah outside he looks amazing inside he has taken maybe the 6th or 7th uh, loan he has to pay multiple loans on his house he has to pay multiple loans on his cars not one car multiple cars he has suppose four wives each wife has a car he has to take a loan for his children's education his entire life is on debt why is he showing off yeah because he has to show off no show i'm high and mighty and then on top of that the uae government says don't worry i'll give you big salaries 10 times 10 times what we are paying uh, uh, indians pakistanis will pay you will pay you little bit more than we pay the goras the whites so we want you to be happy we want you to love the country support the country because only 10% hardly 10% are emiratis right it's not bad i'm not saying it's bad if i was there in their place even i would love that oh very good easy money and then when you default on the loan shakes is okay in the name of allah i forgive all of you forgive 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 don't pay don't pay finish right or 3 month salary bonus 6 month salary bonus for emirati stick who minds it tell me if if you and me were in their place would we complain we are getting 3 month salary bonus for sitting and warming our asses come on man mind you i'm not saying that all emiratis are like this okay the ones who are ambitious the ones who are focused the ones who have the fire i chat with so many of them they are oh they are a class apart it's same like india man majority are oof. being indian i'm telling you majority i can't tolerate them the few the very few oh unbelievable minds unbelievable that is why you always have you know like the pyramid structure at the top few rest everyone ordinary or mediocre anyway that is dubai so see i have i've told you this simple you focus on your job and your career right now there are jobs and don't bloody go and complain oh salary is low and this and that work your ass off man work your ass off get the big money there is big money i know people who are making money you will not like it i'll not like it oh, why the hell is he making money why can't i make money that will always be there right so stop complaining go and do what you have to do no to make money when i work with clients who are hardcore who are focused that drives me oh this guy wants to improve on his profile even though he has a good job some of them have incredible jobs incredible salaries 
it kind of drives me it's like oh sheesh you know he's earning such a good amount of salary good position he is ambitious i need to get off my lazy ass anyway that is with regards to dubai next one is bitcoin cryptos i read one funny comment in my group i have that investment group no for cryptos so they were just talking sheesh man i bought into the dip then this guy said and now it has dipped further so i bought it again it dipped further i bought it again and now i don't have any money <laughs> now what you have to do is sit and wait sit and wait until when the next boom will come out have you noticed suddenly uh, all uh, have you noticed that uh, there is uh, no news uh, nobody of the bitcoin world nobody of the crypto world is talking now no videos no oh i made 50 me 50000 i made 100000 oh in one day have you noticed below my videos before how many of them were bragging one i remember this indian or pakistani guy below my video what he said was what did he say uh ah uh, he said hey loy don't i used to respect you now i don't don't be a sore rule uh, what sore loser i made a uh, I made what one million or something uh, on cryptocurrencies. One million, hundred thousand. I made. Oh Lord! Before I was unemployed. I was an employee. Today I have my own company that is trading in cryptos. I purchased down payment cash. I purchased a three-bedroom luxurious villa. Then he told me that I knew he is an idiot. I purchased it cash in Dubai. I'm living my life of my dreams. This was when. Uh, you know bitcoin and cryptocurrencies were all time high at 60000 now the guys vanished oh now no news now poof vanish magic magic right magic are you making uh, 50000 every single day are you making it every single week are you making 50 or 100000 every single month See, remember this is a cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. It was meant to be currency. It's not a currency anymore. It's just a speculation. Oh, I'll put the money. Oh, it'll go up. Yeah, and then I'll take it out. How does it operate? I told you before. Simple logic. I buy it with the hope that it will climb up. It'll go up, and somebody else will buy. So I sell and make money. This guy will buy it with the hope that oh, I purchase this price. it will go up and then someone else will buy and that guy will buy it hoping that i purchase this now somebody else will buy it at a higher price that's how it operates man what is cryptocurrency being used for what everyone said lo you know paypal has started oh this has started visa mastercard how many of you are taking cryptocurrencies to purchase groceries There are some heroes who say, "Yeah, hey, yeah, I purchased." What did you purchase? Tell me, what did you purchase? I purchased a pizza. Okay, then did you pay water, electricity with the Bitcoin? Did you pay your rent? Did you pay your car? Did you pay your children's fees? You just take one bloody story that's in the news. Oh, this family retired in this country. Yeah, every time they keep shifting bases. That's how you want to live. Yeah, a special kind of stupid. You know that that's a problem with people. Ignorance. They say, you know, ignorance is a bliss. <laughs> Stupidity, man. I I knew this would happen. I I just kept it. It was a matter of time. Now all these Bitcoin and cryptocurrency gurus and experts. Oh, remember Kathy Wood and all these people. What did they say? One Bitcoin will be one million. One Bitcoin will be ten million. One Bitcoin might go one billion. Oh. Not one billion. They said hundred million or whatever. What happened? Where are these experts? Uh, what Michael Slater or something? That CEO of? Oh, I I I purchased uh uh fifty million of bitcoins. I purchased hundred million of bitcoins. Yeah, he's buying it for himself. Few people, ten percent of the population, have ninety percent of the bitcoins. Then you get these. you need to have bigger computing power bigger factories 
more complex CPUs, more complex GPUs, more complex uh, setups to mine. You think a person like you and me can do it in the house? Remember those news articles that came? These two kids are minting Bitcoin, minting, oh, minting cryptocurrency. Where are they? Tell me, where are they? Where are the cryptocurrency millionaires, billionaires? Ah, NFT. Ah. Just do something, just some funny art. Board monkey, board ape. 100,000, 200,000, 1 million, 10 million. Okay. Tell me what is the functionality of iPad, at least I can work on it. Oh, this is an investment. Yeah, investment for what? Okay, you'll sell it, right? Sell it when the price goes up, right? Price is going up or you have to wait? Oh, when will go up, yeah. When I purchase this cat or this dog or this photo, which I can screenshot and keep it. Oh, law, you know, Picasso. Yeah, Picasso is an actual, actual physical painting. Nobody pays money to see a photo. Nobody goes to another part of the world to see, oh, this is Mona Lisa's duplicate painting. You can do it on the internet, sit at home. People like to see the physical thing. We are human beings. We are not metaverse. Oh, metaverse. Everyone's talking big metaverse. 500 billion gone. People are fed up, fed up of Facebook. Actually, bloody tired. People are just, they're just staying on Facebook now just to check gossip or videos or just, just snoop into other people's lives. Nobody wants to post their private stuff. Only, unless of course you want to brag and show off. <laughs> this is the thing about people, man. Stupidity personified. Oh, Bitcoin, I budget. Yeah, sit and wait now. Sit and wait. Maybe one year, two year, five years. You don't know when. Lock your cash. And it's not going to go double. Yeah, the guys who purchased when it was 600 or 500 or 100 and they sold at 60,000, fine, they made. People who purchase at 30,000. Oh. oh, when it'll go 60,000? You know it? I know it? Nobody knows it. Wait. Sit and wait. Sit and wait for one year. Keep your cash locked in. Oh, nobody can hack into crypto. So nobody can hack. How is the companies are losing millions? Oh, some hacker. It's code, my dear. It's code. It's computer language. It's not going to overturn governments and overturn the system. You're fucking stupid. Just uneducated idiots who are sitting bored in their house behind a keyboard and mouse and monitor and they think, oh, this is going to change the world. We computer geeks are going to change the world. Yeah, idiots. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You agree, disagree, what do you think? Love to hear your thoughts. Alright, please take care. Tchau.